pretty much everybody knows how to talk, right? I mean, it's one of the core things that sets us apart from our ape cousins. No! But as a VO talent, I'm relatively sure you also know that there's a pretty significant difference between knowing how to talk and knowing how to deliver a read. And if you're struggling with the latter or are getting frustrated by the lack of jobs you're getting offered, you've probably been considering VO coaching or at least have at one time or another. And you're right to do so. I mean, you've heard me say over and over again that coaching is the best way to get better faster. And I still 100% believe that that's true. But if you go into coaching with a bunch of preconceptions and misconceptions, you're not only going to come out of it even more frustrated and lighter in the wallet, but you'll have wasted an opportunity to really benefit from what coaching actually has to offer. And interestingly, that benefit has almost nothing to do with your voice. What? What's happening, fellow VO nerds and nerds in training? I'm Andrew Scott, and you are back at the VO Bootcamp. So today, we're diving into a topic that's often misunderstood, but I believe it's absolutely crucial for your growth as a voice actor, and that's professional voice coaching. So whether you're just stepping into the world of voice acting or looking to level up your skills, stick around and discover the truth behind the actual power of voice coaching. So I'm sure you know people in your life who've gotten all hot and bothered over a new venture, hobby, or, you know, other pursuit of some kind, and seem to expect instant mastery. Well, voice acting is no different. We see people stepping into this world every day who are under the impression that because they have a pie hole and can read aloud, maybe even have some performance chops, they can just flip on a mic and get drag strip level traction. But in no time, they get very grumpy very quickly when the email notifications don't start blowing up their phones with gig offers. Truth is, while you might be eager to improve overnight, the reality is quite different. So when it doesn't happen at the rate that you expect, some people turn to VO coaches in the hopes that it'll speed the plow. That's certainly not a dumb idea at all. I mean, I did it, and yeah, it helped. Honestly, looking back over my shoulder, I, I think it made way more of a difference than I might have understood when I started out. But even I went through a phase where I was paying good money to a very reputable VO coach and still felt that I wasn't making progress. But that's because I was thinking of coaching as one thing when it was actually another. So I want to talk today about what VO coaching is and moreover, what it's not. Now, obviously, as a VO coach myself, this is going to sound really self-serving. I mean, of course I'm going to talk up the benefits of coaching, right? Well, honestly, I can't really do anything about that. Your perception is your own, and you have the right to judge my message any way you want. But the truth is, coaching does help. But maybe not in the way you think. Professional voice coaching is a lot of things. But the biggest misconception is that it's intended to fix something in a really direct way and within a certain time frame. I'll tell you this. If you go into coaching with that idea in your head, you're going to be pretty disappointed pretty quickly. That's because VO coaching, above all else, is a gradual process. A journey of guided refinement that takes time and effort. So let's debunk a few other misconceptions and explore why patience and commitment matter. First things first. Don't expect to wake up one morning as the next Don LaFontaine, Mark Hamill, or Nancy Cartwright. Mastery comes with consistent practice, expert guidance, and patience. So much patience. It's about understanding that growth takes time. Voice coaching isn't a magical potion that transforms you overnight. It's a series of small, steady improvements that add up over time. All done under the observation of a skilled, objective set of years. Sometimes the changes might not be glaringly obvious to you at first, but that doesn't mean that they aren't happening. Often, others will notice positive changes in your voice and delivery well before you do. That recognition, that shining a light by someone else can really help keep the grind of this process and this business from, well, grinding you down. 
or worse, grinding you right up out of the game. There's no eureka moment in voice coaching where you suddenly declare, I've made it, I'm done. It's an ongoing process of growth and refinement. And it's the building of that connection and the ability to return back to it as you need it that's the true power of the coaching relationship. I mean, you wouldn't want to have to see a new doctor every time you went in for a checkup, right? You want to go back to somebody that you know, and more importantly, somebody that knows you and your history. You might be your own biggest critic. Voice coaching helps you see your blind spots and get out of your own way. An objective point of view allows you to work on areas that you might not have noticed on your own or finally see blocks in your performance or your business practices that really could only be spotted by somebody else who's not standing in the same hole. So now let's look at the typical curve of gradual VO progress and some of its markers. A pretty regular on-ramp into a coaching relationship is an intensive period where you do one session a week for a month or maybe more. Obviously, this might look like the coach is trying to get as much money out of you as possible, as fast as possible, but I promise you, it's not that at all. What the intensive period is, is a combination of you learning your coach and how they work, and more importantly, your coach learning you and your unique particular pronunciation modulation, diction, and speech idiosyncrasies. There's really no one-size-fit-all approach to this relationship. So that on-ramp time is important. It sets the path going forward. So when you begin with a new VO coach, you'll often start out with some foundational exercises, focusing on breathing technique and vocal control. You might be given some, what some people say are tired old practice scripts to work with, but you're given those tired old scripts for a reason. That reason is likely because those scripts have word combinations, phonetics, changes in pacing or modulation curves that a particular coach finds helpful in illuminating potential issues, speech idiosyncrasies, or impediments that the two of you as a team might want to address in the future. And at this early stage in the game, your coach should be helping you understand the importance of pacing and tone. Then in the following weeks, you'll likely learn about script analysis, how to find movement and dynamics in a script, and how to interpret both the overt message of a script, but also how to find the subtext of a script, which is essential for dialing in the tone of the read. So as you progress with this, you'll develop a better muscle for breaking down a script and learn to infuse emotion into your lines. Will it be perfect yet? No, but a work in progress is still both work and progress. Now at this point, a few weeks or months in, you, your coach, or the two of you together might decide to take a step back from a fixed schedule and drop into a more as-needed relationship. Now, this is totally common, and I often shove clients out of the nest, as it were, and tell them, here's where the rubber meets the road, although I'm pretty sure birds don't drive no matter what the conspiracy theorists think they might be up to, and say, Come back if you find other issues that you feel we haven't fully addressed or explored. This kind of a la carte period can be super helpful when you get to the next phase, which is, yeah, at some point down the road, maybe weeks or months later, the bumps happen. Yep, the infamous plateau or stall. Much like weight loss, many hit a point where nothing seems to be changing. You feel like you're not progressing, but guess what? Because you've been doing this on the regular for a while now, and you and your coach have an actual familiarity and relationship, your coach can see the subtle nuances in your performances that are getting stronger. They might be able to point you to these changes that you yourself can't see. Again, different ears can often pick up things about what you're doing that your own can't, and find ways to work on other aspects of your practice that will help get you moving again, and out of that stuck-in-the-mud place. And as time goes on, your auditioning skills will likely get noticeably sharper. You'll hopefully be getting more shortlists, more callbacks, and booking more gigs. And your delivery is likely becoming more natural and more controllable, where you're able to tweak it and shape it on the spot on an as-needed basis. You're not the same voice actor you were before you started. That's for sure. Now, is this progress guaranteed? Is it for sure to happen? <laughs> 
Mark? No. That's the honest truth. There are so many factors that go into mastery, let alone success, that I personally believe that if any coach ever tries to guarantee you success, you should run as fast as you can away from them. That smells suspiciously like snake oil to me. So keep that in mind. I personally don't guarantee anything except my time, knowledge, experience, and my objectivity. Any other promise would, in my mind, be unethical. And I can't do that in good conscience. So obviously, and like anything else in life, it's a journey that's filled with ups and downs. But the overall trajectory should be noticeably upwards. It might be subtly upwards, but it should be noticeably upwards. Remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, the progress you make along the way, and the experience you gain by doing it. Now at this point, let's discuss a few invisible or at least less tangible benefits of having a long-term relationship with a voice coach. Just like a plant needs consistent care to flourish, your voice acting skills need continuous guidance to blossom. Your coach helps you build on your progress, refining your technique, and expanding your range. Having a coach holds you accountable for your growth. It's easy to skip practice sessions or become complacent without someone tracking your progress. Having that other person there who's a step or three further down the path than you are in this business can be a very powerful motivator to stick with the process and not worry about the plan so much. Over time, you build trust with your coach. They know your strengths and weaknesses better than anybody else. Their feedback becomes a compass, hopefully, guiding you in the right direction. And not only that, they grow to be uniquely positioned to help you change course in the event you suddenly discover things like, oh, I actually hate doing audiobooks, or somebody wants me to voice for IVR. I don't even know what IVR is. Getting opinions can be helpful getting outside experienced opinions even more so. Having the Amazon delivery guy tell you, go for it, bruh, is great and all, but would you really trust him for tax advice? You get me. Voice coaching isn't about achieving perfection. It's about constant refinement. Your coach is your partner in this journey, ensuring you stay on track even when the road gets bumpy. This is exactly why a bunch of the greatest artists, performers, and athletes like Tom Brady, Lady Gaga, Simone Biles, and even the late Luciano Pavarotti, all people who are or were considered the best of the best, work or stayed working with coaches in their respective fields to get to the top and remain there as long as they did. So there you have it. That's more the reality a professional voice coaching. It's not an overnight fix. It's not a get-rich-quick thing. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about embracing the journey, committing to a realistic process, not holding on to an idealized plan, and realizing that growth takes time, and all those other tired but actually factual turns of phrases. And another beaten-to-death saying, remember, every step you take is a step closer to your goals, even if that step is one that you made after being told, maybe try walking like this for a change. And another moldy but goody, if you found this video in any way valuable, do me the honor of tickling that little like button down there, hitting the lovely subscribe do jobby, and ring that notification bell so you know when I put out a new video. All those things are free ways to help me and the channel, and it helps a lot. It helps me keep cranking these videos out for you. And as always, jump in on the Boothcamp Discord server at the link down below and come hang out and have some fun with a bunch of other folks doing what you do. Until next time, everybody, I'm Andrew Scott, and you're at the VO Boothcamp. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. New spectacles. I wish I could say it helps me uh, see you guys better, but eh.